My first project is to find out which phone line goes to my son's room. I'm going to use my homemade continuity tester to figure this out. A continuity tester is a device that is used to find electrical pathway between two points. Um, you can buy these. Some of them are fairly expensive. They either use a light, which requires two people, one on each end of the line, or the way I like to do it is to use the alarm style one so I can wire these by myself. When I complete a circuit on one end, the alarm goes off on the other end. And that is when you know you have found the wire coming from the room that you are testing. I am in my son's room and I have found the phone jack. I need to know which end coming out of the junction box belongs to this phone jack. The first thing I'm going to have to do is, of course, take this plate off to get to the wires behind it. As you can see, I have unraveled the unused wires on this Cat5 line. I have also taken out the brown and the brown and white. I'm going to use these two wires to hook my continuity tester to. I will need to strip off the insulation on just the ends of these so I can make a good connection. I have taken my homemade continuity tester and I have clamped the alligator clips to the bare wire ends that I created on the brown and the brown and white wire. When I touch the brown and brown and white wire together on the other end of this cable, the alarm will sound then I will know which wire at the junction box belongs to this room. So I do have one clue on which line it could be. The one coming out of the jack upstairs is a blue line. So I know I don't need to test the gray lines. So from each blue line, I've selected the brown and the brown and white wire. I'm going to close the circuit by putting them together and listen for the alarm. I don't hear anything on that one. It's not that one. Oh, there it is. So when I connected these two, it completed the circuit. I heard the alarm go off. I now can label this line as the one that goes to my son's phone jack. This technique is also useful for finding the ends of coax cable. When testing the coax cable, it is best to tape both alligator clips to where you just barely see the tip. So here's what you need. You need a 9 volt battery, battery terminal connector, and a battery holder. This is a buzzer I bought from Radio Shack. It is at least 100 decibels loud. It sounds more like an alarm. It's very high pitched, very loud. These are two alligator clips. Uh, two wires, extra wire, about 6 inches to 8 inches long a piece, and wire strippers and of course electrical tape. I've taken my wire strippers and I went ahead and I stripped the insulation off to expose on each wire end the uh, braided wire underneath. And so once we do that, I can go ahead now and start to connect um, to put this together. So let's hook it up. We're gonna start with the buzzer. One wire off the buzzer 
will be twisted to one wire off the battery terminal connector. Just like that. Now we have a wire that's loose coming off of the battery terminal connector. I'm going to put my extra length of wire onto that one. So we'll twist those together. Just like that. And now I will take the last wire coming off of the buzzer and I will add some length to it by using my other wire that I've cut to about six inches and twist those together. Just like that. Now I could have used butt connectors to crimp the ends together instead of twisting them together. But I'm trying to make this as simple as I can, so I'm just going to tape the connections with electrical tape. Now that I'm taped up, last thing I gotta put on are my alligator clips, and I will crimp those on the end of these wires. So just to show what we have so far, I have the two wires coming off the buzzer, splitting. One goes to the battery terminal, which comes off and goes to an alligator clip. And the other one goes straight to an alligator clip, as you can see. So now I'm just going to take my 9 volt and go ahead and snap it into my terminal connector there just like that. And now we can test it. So basically, when these two ends meet, the alarm should go off. And it does. That's exactly what we want. Now to just tidy this up, to make it more manageable and useful, I'll just go ahead and take this whole system and use some screws and some tape and basically wrap it up and package it on a board. So here's the final product. I have it packaged on a scrap piece of lumber and it makes it a lot easier to carry around in a store. It's pretty much ready to go.